Hi, this is Peter Ashley, and I'm going to be taking you on some basic launch training. We're going to start with level one, which is the map view. As you can see from this view, is it's a Google map based system, and we're able to zoom into the devices in the same way that you can zoom in using Google Maps. So basically, all you do is zoom in, and then we can see the location of the devices in more detail. We can also utilize the satellite view in the top left hand side of the map and we can turn on satellite. So now you can actually see the satellite imagery based where these devices are installed. Now what, what you also have the ability of doing is actually doing street view. So we can grab the little man over here the same way that you would with Google Maps. We can drop him on the map. This is going to bring up street view and then we can actually utilize this to actually see where the devices are installed over here we can see the physical device that's being captured by google street view cars and we can see our icon that's displayed on the map to get back to the normal map we just click on that little back arrow on the top left hand corner then i can click on maps to go back to the map display and I'm going to zoom out just to showcase how you zoom out. On level one, we show all of the devices on the map. And we also show all the devices on a left hand panel over here that you can select on the devices. If there are any errors or anything like that, you will see the errors and alarms on the left hand panel here. What we're able to do now is also to look in and go to a device and see some more information. So for instance, on a school beacon, we can select the school beacon and what it will do is bring up a little pop-up of information. Now we can select more details and that will take us to the next level of detail. That's called level two of information and that will be uh, talked about in the next presentation. But from this one, we can actually see the information in terms of the AC voltage, monitor battery, cabinet door status and everything everything else that that is a quick piece of information now we also have the ability of showcasing vehicle trails on this map and you'll see that that's seen over here by looking at the um, display of the fire vehicle and this is the trail that he's been driving to see more information about trails, we click on this little button over here, which shows information in terms of the legend. Blue being idle, amber being in service, red being left turn indicator, active with in service on, and yellow being right turn indicator active with in service being on. We also have the ability of going back to multiple hours. So right now we're showing the last one hour data, but we can select four hours and select that arrow button over here that'll take you back with four hours of data. So you can see the trail has extended because it's now showing you the last four hours of data. We're also able to actually click on settings over here and that will allow us to show device names. So you can see all the device names on the map but it will also allow you to show Google traffic overlays. So we can select the Google traffic overlay, and now you can see where any traffic congestion is within your city. We also have the ability to locate individual devices. So if you know you have a certain issue with the device, you know the name of it, let's say the driver feedback sign. We can select the driver feedback sign, and we can select the little arrow button, and that will zoom us directly into that device so that you can get a more detailed view of exactly where it's installed. Now we can also go to the level two information by selecting a device here and we also have the ability to see if there are any alarms. If we select this button it will pop out a pop-up. As you can see right now there are no alarms found for this user. We can press that and bring the alarms back in. 